Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. In the last few episodes we have been doing the Brotherhood of Steel side quest. That's including showing off Harden in side quests in its entirely. And at this point I'm showing off McNaveras as side quest as well. Uh oh, I see something in the distance. Uh oh, those look like Cazadors. Anyway, I'm coming up, up on the, as you can see on the map here, I'm coming up on the third and final vault I need to explore in order to, to get the supplies that these, the Brotherhood needs in order to fix their filtration system. Cazadors are, are like those, those bugs over there. They're nasty little creatures. Why does he not have full health? Well, and, the, and the biggest concern with them is that they're capable of, of poisoning you, which isn't bad as long as you have as long as you have an anti-venom on you. Which is easy to get if you're fighting the, against the Legion. That's a lot of plant life. Stay out, the plants kill. As I was saying, whoa! As I was saying, Cazadors are nasty because it's that they're capable of poisoning you, which isn't bad if you have a, 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 if you have well, isn't bad if you have a, a, a little poison cure, but the which itself isn't that hard to come by if you're fighting Legion members it's often enough. Jeez, this place looks overgrown. Plants going up, roots spraying up through the area. Plant, place looks overgrown. Yeah, but the but the issue is is either like if you don't have if you're not getting, getting um, poison cures like the anti venom from fighting legions, you otherwise have to craft them. But I think you need like, oh, what is it? You need to like. The elevator does not seem to be working. You can probably prop over the nearby panel and tinker it to get the elevator working. The elevator opens without a hitch. Of course, my levels. Let's go from the bottom up. Anyway, it's not. You have to craft the anti venom. Oh, I think you need like rad screws. What? What the? You think you need like rad scorpion venom sacks on to craft it? They at a certain level in survival. Oh crap! Dang! Let's go look at a filing cabinet that's right next to me. Good work finding that one, Veronica.
I mean, if you have, if you have plenty of like spore carrier savage, it looks oddly humanoid. It looks oddly humanoid. Oh! Trouble. Ah. Yeah, they're not a problem. Casanova's not a problem you have plenty of ammo to spare. The thing is that... They're like they can poison your ally, which, which becomes a big issue itself because you're you can't hear your. your ally or companions of poison and the only thing you can do for them if they get poison is to is to repeatedly jam stim packs into them to heal them to keep them alive leave Eddie alone Seriously, I don't know why these guys keep going for Eddie all the time. Every single time. Food production. Probably better if we went back to the elevator. Or if we have to go back to food production. Oxygen recycling. Oh well, I'll probably need more, need more sense in, in for, for that. Oh, the one I saw in the door. There it is. The one I see in the door is like leading me back to the bunker. That gets annoying. Jeez. This place is infested with plants. What even happened? Warning system security has been compromised. That looks like story stuff. Of I Well to be honest, there's supposed to be another question. Eddie. Eddie plays that little combat music when he's detecting an enemy, but not my, not even my radar is picking up anything. Leaving him Memory has been corrupted. Oh, he gets back. To be honest, there's supposed to be another quest there, so that couple that happens here, but I'm just here for the... But I'm just here for the Brotherhood stuff, so... We can come back and get the quote-unquote proper story. The win. When I come back here for the other quest. I guess it's supposed to be right up there, but... Wait... Looks like... The door's blocked off, but I can get to that... 
Hey, but where's the other side? Confound this labyrinth. Tell me I have to go to another level or so. Either that's machines buzzing or something sounding like a voice. This go was where we were looking for. See if it goes up. Or oh, it just goes down. Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Veronica, don't go down! Damn, Veronica! Thanks for the wasted bullet, Veronica. More plants growing out of the metal in the, the fall hall than there is than there is, is plants growing in actual dirt down here. Just top off that bit of health.
Wait. Pay attention to your map, kiddos. This is gate lock. Seer's office. We got some locks disengaged, and so now we, so now we can, we can go more places if we end up finding them.
Oh yeah, let me just find a fresh ca carrot and a fresh apple for 200 year old balls. Why is it Franca? Still nothing. We need. Franca, are you blind? Still nothing. You walked right past it. Come on. Come on, Veronica, I trust your sight. You're not flying. You're not a baby. Guys, then we could level up. Looking forward to that. I don't trust Eddie being left alone in this area. They like going after him. Second level. Oh wait, that's where... That's where it's located. And, and I'm looking for And I'm trying to look for something on the second on the fourth floor, they'll leave me.
like they're growing crops out here. Looks like we're on the other side of that locked door. HP8, H20 cartridge filter. That looks like everything. curious about where the rest of these caves go and to be honest I'm kind of trying to look for enemies to fight to see if I can get that last little bit of XP to to level up I mean I'm so close right it's right there right there. You know, something that I think is good level design and or a bit of... Uh oh. Something that I think is a bit of both good game design and good world building in general is when games de develop their world in a way where there's natural sign in the world that can point you to a certain area uh, for you to find, and you're able to find it naturally by finding signs like that in, in the world instead, uh, uh, and not just have to rely exclusively, exclusively on a big glowing arrow at the, like the top, middle, 
the top middle or or corner of the screen telling you where to go. Like for example, like running through a vault in in Bioshock. I said Bioshock. I was thinking Bioshock is a good example of it, but thing running through a vault here in Fallout New Vegas is where it's easy to find them in certain areas depending on where you look the area you're looking for. Where it's easy to find like certain areas certain areas like um like overseer like overseer there's often a security room there's residential areas where all the beds are things like that it's easy to find in areas like that because they do a good job of putting natural sign well look good looking natural signs in in the world and likewise Bioshock is a good example because it, it also puts a little advertisement sign means pointing in different areas to guide you so you don't have to rely on like a glowing glowing arrow in the middle of the screen both are good examples of, of like of both world building and game design. Especially when they managed to make that. I hardly notice that lazy eye anymore, Watkins. Especially when, um. Let me just. Especially when they do it in such a way where. You know, it's like, what's the saying? If you do something right, it doesn't... Evening. Okay. Like, you know, what's the, what's the saying? If you do something right, it, it goes unnoticed. You know, it's easy for something done right to go unnoticed, but it's real... But it's really, really obvious when something's done bad or wrong. Uh, something like that. You look tired, it seems. Yes, yes. That's another thing that I like about this game, like they um, random characters are able to comment on your on your The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Kinda. Anyway, that's another thing I like of some characters commenting on your companions like and, and sometimes your companions like talk on their own like like when you're walking through the bunker, Brian just, just makes random comments to all her friends around, around in the Brotherhood. Hey, good to see you again. Have you thought any more about letting me take a look at the logs on your robot? I've got... I've got something else I'm doing with the robot. I, Bye. Wait, How may I assist you? Hello. Hey, good to see you. Okay, he... It's... what? Okay, still in the dark. Return to Senior Knight Lorenzo with the components. That's about their own. Hey, good to see you again. <laughs> really? Bye. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Um, I had people talk to... Good to see you. They're all right here. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. Alright, let's go talk to him. Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? I did it. Lorenzo's on it. 
Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports, and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Brotherhood Steel likes you. Brotherhood Steel, thank you. And with that, he. Oh, wait, no. I'm not sure. I thought you. Huh, I thought you would give something other than just the key to me. Welcome, outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios, but I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? I want to join the Brotherhood. You've certainly earned the right, but I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such a service. However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? That depends on the task. Let's hear it at first. Do not hesitate, my friend. Learn from my mistake and go boldly, one way or the other. Are you serious? Both Harden and McNamara don't, they don't want to just like let you hear the task first and then decide for yourself whether or not you to do it. They, they, they just, hey, they just come up to you and ask, hey, I, I got something for you to do. Do you want to do it? They, and, and it's either, yes, I already agree ahead of time. What is it? Or, no, I'm walking away. Like... That's something, that's always like a bad idea, like, if someone tries, like, that's some kind of, something that I kind of go against personally, like, if someone tries to get you to agree to something without telling you what you're agreeing to, always, like, ask questions about that. But anyway, let's hear what he's got to do. As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. I want you to head up to the summit of Black Mountain and install this remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck. Their repair skill to 90. And. No, oh, I'm gonna. I'll put a bit of. Actually, I think. Let's put a bit. Start putting bit, some, some bits of, into survival. I want to get that up. I want to get survival up to. To um, 55. Eyes to the blind. Oh, 
Oh, I think... I think I'm gonna try stealthing my way up there. I, I do have some stealth boots, right? Oh, I know that's... I got five, yeah. That's good. Oh, where is it? Should've brought something to read. I'm gonna leave them here, because I'll be coming back to do, do the quest anyway. I'll be coming back to finish it, I mean, not do it. I'm already doing it. serious. Yeah, they, there's a little key hidden there that you wouldn't even think about knowing it if you didn't already know about it in advance. Intruder! I have foreseen your death! All intruders are to be killed! Are you freaking kidding me? Don't worry, Ron. 
Hunter, we'll find them! In solid remote signal strength. This console appears to connect to radar and other detection systems. Install the remote signal transmitter. You quickly install the devices to direct it. Immediately, a small green light on it begins pulsing, indicating that it's begun transmitting. I know I heard something. Don't worry, Rhonda. We'll what? find them. She wearing a wig? Intruder! Hell, because there are enemies nearby, and I'm still getting my and I'm still getting my buns mixed up, despite being how much I've been playing this game and the let's how much I've been let's playing it. <coughs> oh, that was a that was a, a hefty chunk. There we go. And we are good! We got that going! Oh, you will be our trainer. You don't have the shooting range instead. How about you actually shut up because... That's one thing I don't understand. Sometimes NPC... He's don't register or recognize certain tasks like the the lockdown's been lifted and they're actively standing outside and she's outside complaining about Aw, oh, just when the standing around was getting exciting and she's out but she's instead outside he's complaining about like vr training and, and going to shoot There you are. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood, so we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Yeah, you get that. Hello. As if your reputation becomes good enough for the Brotherhood for them to like you, you'll get that regardless. And let me just start drinking some. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, I was wondering, where's my Nuku Cola drinks? I know I have. <sighs> yeah, like I said before, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Well, uh, I think uh, arguably Sunset Sarsaparillas are the best passive of healing item in the game because it and Nuku Colas. They, they heal you passively you know, a lot longer than any other food item in the game. But I'd argue that Sunset Sarsaparillas are better because it's even though they uh, make you like thirstier or so. But the difference is that besides like the little stats you can look at here, um, the difference is that every time you drink the Nuka Cola it gives you um, about two points of radiation, which is extremely minor, or to the point that it's practically not even worth cognitively recognizing it. it but Sunset Sarsaparilla is practically heal you for the same amount, well, relatively speaking, yet, but without the radiation. But anyway, let's turn in our quest. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I installed the device up at Black Mountain, as instructed. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood, for meritorious service above and beyond the Call of Duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. 
Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. And with that, he back to Vera. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you. Not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. And with that, that we have completed the... We have completed both sides of the Brotherhood with their steel. So previously I'd shown off, off how it ends with... With a Paladin and Hardin taking over the Brotherhood's steel and becoming an Elder. Or in his quest to where he wants to destroy the Van Grass for, for um, not only for possessing technology, but also for... Not only for the alleged crime of, like, possessing the technology or so, or however it is he phrased it, but also as, like, a demonstration of power to, to the Mojave to show that the Brotherhood are back and not to be trifled with. And this is, is Elder McNamara's ending, where you get all the exact same rewards. Basically, you get all of the exact, all the exact same rewards that you would get for, oh, very low condition on both of them. You know what, I think I'll give the helmet to Veronica. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Carry this helmet. I don't mean that. Today. There, now she's fully dressed like a Brotherhood Steel Knight. Still, like, you get, it, it. But still, with with this being done, it, it's it's practically the same ending. The only so then you still get like the the 900 experience points, the the power armor, and the power armor train, power armor training. And so it ends the same regardless of which path you choose. The only difference is that. And the only difference is rather you have, um, to be honest, like if you go with McNamara here, he goes, you, he t sends you through this long quest line that I've just shown off. But if you choose, but choosing Harden lets you cut straight to the end of the quest line without doing any of the work. Like you could pretty much end the Brotherhood of Steel, or, or, um, quest line as early as getting one of the hollow tapes off off the dead bodies, bringing it to Hardin, and then you bust McNamara and and have him replaced with Hardin. You can do it that or you can just, just do it that early. And you don't And on the other hand you don't get um uh, they both either way you get nine hundred you don't get rewarded with experience points or armor so till the end. And then it's the same nine hundred, so the only difference is that, um, is that do you want to do all the quests in order, or do you just want to cut straight to the end? But, I will say that there, that, um, that this, that whether you have Harding or McNamara, uh, as Brotherhood, as an Elder, will have, of, of consequences in the future, both good and bad. And like, in the future, or there'll be times where you need to talk to the the elder about oh, important issues who's in the future. Issues that that only McNamara uh, will will listen to. Who that Hardin won't won't and such like that. And so yeah, like doing doing this Hardin short path lets you skip straight to the end with all the benefits. But, but when you need to deal with the or talk to the Brotherhood of Steel later, you basically you can't 
talk to or reason with them, whereas as McNamara has the longer path, but, but but you can interact with him and talk to him about future or situa about situations. So each line has the consequences. And I think I'm going to end the episode here. Tell me what you think down. Uh, um, please tell me what you think about now that we've seen and explore or both sides. Please tell me what you think down in the comments below. But what you, who you want to see he as Elder now that we see in both sides and they're practically the same. The only difference is that... The only real difference is... Is the consequences of your choice. Is rather, is how impatient you are and you want to skip to the end. Versus like the consequences of how you'll be able to deal with the Brotherhood later so or or handle issues with them. Um, but I'm trying not to spoil things. Things here. I'm trying my best not to spoil things. And please tell me what you think down in the comments below. But when usually I've been I usually have like my episodes are are like an hour and a half, two hours, but this is going to be a bit shorter. Or, so I can just up go ahead and put this up as it is. Okay, so you guys can tell me what you think. Think um what was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, I, I'm gonna say like the comments so far have been like pointing out that the comments so far have been leading towards having Harden be the elder. So unless so, um, so I'm going to be choosing Harden's path by default, unless of course there's like this video changes anyone's ideas or majority support goes to unless majority support suddenly starts swaying towards his McNevere here or the, the I'm going to keep the uh, I'm going to or keep the the um, Harden's path the chosen one and, and the one that we stick with so if there's anything you want so anything you guys any objections to that or Anything you want to say about the Brotherhood, then speak it now or forever hold your peace. Because this is going to be the, the last chance to, to have any influence or decision on the Brotherhood. And with that, thank you again for watching. This has been Fallout New Vegas. It's, I'm going to end things off here. Thank you so much for watching. And, and until next time, I will see you guys around.